The first thing you want to do is to locate the 9-pin round connector, usually found on the right side of the cab along the window. The connector only goes on a certain way, so make sure you get that plugged in correctly. Make sure all aftermarket monitors are turned off. Examples would include Green Star monitors, Trimble, Outback Sprayer, etc., as well as the radio and HIVAC blowers. Turn the ignition key to the run on position, then plug the cable into the power manager. Left hand top corner of screen is tuning. Click on it, then use the arrows to move up and down to select the equipment you're using and press the forward arrows. Follow the model number of the piece of equipment you have, press the forward arrow again. Stock file is missing. Start to read ECU, press yes. It may take a few minutes to read the stock file. Please do not turn off the piece of equipment or unplug anything with the power manager unless the power manager asks you to do so. After the file has been read, you may unplug the power manager and turn the key to the off position. This portion of the process is complete. Use the USB cable included with the power manager to plug the unit into your computer. Also included with the power manager is a flash drive with a calibrated power logo on it. Please plug it into the computer and open the drive folder. Inside the drive is a file labeled Power Manager Setup. Double click on the file and follow the instructions to load the program onto your computer. Once the setup is complete, the program should open automatically and connect to the power manager. If it does not, or you get a device not recognized message, simply close the program and reopen it by selecting the calibrated power icon located on your desktop. Once the calibrated power program is open and the power manager is connected, select Download Data located on the left-hand side of the window. Once the download screen is up, select the Start button. The download will take less than a minute. Once downloaded, please save the file with your name and the last six digits of your order number. Then email the file to stockfile at duramaxtuner.com. After we send you the new modified file, you will save them preferably in the same location as the original file. Use upload data to upload the new files into the power manager. After the power manager is loaded, it's ready to be used on your equipment. Plug the round 9-pin connector back into the tractor. Please make sure all aftermarket monitors and uh, blowers are turned off, just like before when you read the file. Turn the key to the run position. Once the power manager is on the home screen, click on the tuning icon in the left-hand corner again. Your files should come up labeled with what they are. Click on the file you wish to flash to your vehicle and press the forward arrows. It should say connecting with ECU, then writing ECU. This may take a few minutes to rewrite. After completion, you may turn the key off and unplug the power manager. Please start the tractor, check throttle, your operation is complete.